Melodyne plugin, creating a vocal delay in Pro Tools. Hi, this is Carlo Libertini. In this video, we'll create a simple delay effect on a lead vocal track using Melodyne plugin in Pro Tools. Not only does Melodyne offer its users corrective audio editing, but one can produce creative effect ideas as well. Let's take a look. Here I've launched Pro Tools and opened a session file. Now track one contains our vocal take that we're going to create our delay effect on. So here I've already inserted Melodyne and we're now going to transfer the audio that we want to create our delay effect into Melodyne. Simply activate transfer and move the playhead to where I want to begin transferring the audio and press play like so. And once I stop the playhead, there, Melodyne has analyzed the audio and we're ready to begin creating our vocal delay effect. Creating a delay effect within Melodyne plugin window here running in Pro Tools is intuitive and easy. First, we need to choose what audio we want to apply a delay effect to. Here I've chosen the last word down on the second phrase. Let's take a listen. You wanna take me down. Seems like a good word to have a little fun with. Now that I've selected the audio, I'm going to right click on it and choose copy. Now I'm going to select an area here on the grid and choose paste and we'll make an exact copy of it. Now not only can we pitch this new audio up and down, we can also move it from left to right on our grid, like so. So we have a lot of natural flexibility with this. What I'll do here is I'll pitch this audio down to there. Let's take a listen. You wanna take me down, down. Perfect. Now I'm going to repeat this process a couple more times. Okay, here I've copied and pasted the word down. And you can see I repeated it an additional three times. There, there, and here. Let's take a listen now and see how our delay effect is developing. You wanna take me down, 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 down. Perfect. Now some of the tricks we like to do here, for example, is I'll select my amplitude tool and we can adjust the amplitude differently for each delay. Here I'll bring that down about two and a half decibels. This one I'll go a little further. About five. This one, let's see. About three. And this last group. I go down about eight dBs. Let's take a listen now. You wanna take me down, 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 down. Better. Another thing we can do here is take the format. The format is the unique sound and characteristics of each phrase. And what we can do is have a little fun with that and change the tonal character of each delay. For example, on this first delay, I'll raise the format a little bit. On this next group, what I'll do is, let's lower it a little bit. This next phrase, let's next group, I'll raise it up a little higher even. And on this last delay, let's lower it even more to exaggerate. Let's take a listen now. You wanna take me down, 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 down. <laughs> I kind of like that. Now again, I'm just showing how easy it is to copy and paste audio within Melodyne plugin window to create these special kind of effects like a delay effect here. Now you can take advantage of the pitch manipulation and the timing adjustments to create any kind of varying effects here. Hopefully you're able to see how easy and powerful Melodyne is to help take your creative ideas out of your head and through your speakers a lot quicker. My name's Carlo Libertini. 
and thanks for watching.